Stepping out of his limo in the far east of Russia, a slimmed down Kim Jong un greeted Vladimir Putin. Thank you for inviting us, even though you're busy, Kim said. The two leaders toured Russia's version of Cape Canaveral, the modern Vostochny Cosmodrome. Both men are under sanctions, but didn't seem isolated this morning. Instead, they're drawing closer because of the war in Ukraine. After signing the visitor's book, Kim and Putin were all smiles, praising each other and the historic ties between their countries dating back to the Korean War. Putin said he hoped the space station could help Kim, who he says is interested in advancing North Korea's space program. U.S. officials say North Korea's space program is really cover for its long-range ballistic missile program. Because if you can launch a satellite into space, you can also fire a nuclear warhead at the United States. North Korean intercontinental ballistic missiles can already reach anywhere in the U.S. As if to prove a point during the visit, North Korea launched ballistic missiles overnight into the sea off Japan. Kim also seemed to praise Putin's war in Ukraine without mentioning the country by name. Russia has risen to a sacred struggle to defend its sovereignty and protect its security in opposition to the hegemonic forces that oppose Russia, Kim said. At their dinner, Putin toasted to strengthening friendship and Kim's health. The deal between Putin and Kim is simple enough, according to U.S. officials. Putin is offering North Korea help with advanced technology and likely food in exchange for ammunition the artillery and rockets that Putin needs to fend off the U.S.-backed counteroffensive in Ukraine. North Korea, one of the most militarized countries in the world, has huge stockpiles of artillery, which Ukrainian and American officials worry could tip the balance of the war to Russia. Kim has wrapped up his summit with President Putin and is now heading back to North Korea on his slow armored train, but making more stops at Russian military sites along the way. Craig. All right. Our chief foreign correspondent, Richard Engel, there for us in Ukraine. Richard, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel today all day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.